The mission of the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier USS Gerald Ford in the Mediterranean Sea has been going on for eight months and is nearing its end. Now, along with other ships of the aircraft carrier strike group, it has already crossed Gibraltar and is headed for Norfolk, according to the publication Stars and Stripes, which belongs to the U.S. Department of Defense. The USS Gerald Ford's mission began on May 2, 2022, when the aircraft carrier replaced the USS George Bush in the area of responsibility of the U.S. Sixth Fleet, which patrols the coasts of Europe and Africa. The mission was supposed to last six months, but due to the Hamas terrorist attack on Israel in October, it was extended. The U.S. deployed two carrier strike groups to the region, the USS Gerald Ford and the USS Dwight Eisenhower, which was supposed to replace the first carrier. This decision was aimed at influencing Hezbollah in Lebanon and Iran and deterring them from attacking Israel. This is the first time since the war with Iraq that two aircraft carrier strike groups were in the same region at the same time. However, keeping the USS Gerald Ford on duty was impossible, and the carrier now requires longer maintenance and repairs. U.S. plans to continue maintaining two carrier strike groups in the region are currently unknown, as it is very expensive. At the same time, it is worth noting that the U.S. is currently mainly engaged in the Prosperity Guardian operation, which is aimed at protecting civilian vessels in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden from Houthi attacks from Yemen. Although there is an opinion that the Pentagon may expand its actions to shoot down drones and missiles, as well as launch a direct attack on the Houthis.